Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten's VHS Tales. What are you drinking? We just rented a bunch of movies and we're about 13 years old. It's a big old glass of Coca-Cola. Oh my god. Yeah, you're right. It's just a big old <laughs> glass of stout. <laughs> Fuck that coke shit. <laughs> Today we're gonna bring to you our story of when we used to rent seven movies for seven nights for seven bucks. Seven bucks <laughs> at home movie rentals. The local video store. <laughs> yeah. And it was funny, it was just called Home Movie Rentals. That was the name of the place. Yeah, and the place was awesome. It was loaded with movies. It was one of the better rental places we had in our neighborhood. Massive. It was huge. It was like the hub of the area. Yeah. And then there was like all those little kind of satellite places like yeah. Wizard Video yeah, and yeah. all these other fucking places around that didn't have nearly as much of a selection, but a lot, if you went to a lot of those small places, there was sometimes the odd movie that you could find. Yeah, that wasn't anywhere else. Like yeah. a weird movie they would get that like, I remember like Tourist Trap, for example, wasn't at Home Movie Rentals. Yeah, it was at some other weird But it was place. at Camp or Corral, right, yeah. you know? Yeah, so there was things like that, which was kind of cool, because you had to actually search around. Yeah. If you wanted a movie, or if you heard of it or read it in a magazine, yeah. You had to actually search around for it. Which was neat about the old home movie rental days. Like, you'd have a Ma and Pa store that would be like, have a couple of gems. Mm -hmm. Weird, low budget things you wouldn't see at the big stores, right? Yeah. Which is kind of neat. The literal Mom and Pop stores, you'd wonder how these old people would even have or movies like Or think <laughs> of getting this movie <laughs> yeah. like, uh, they're just like, ah, this one. Yeah, yeah, it's like, what the hell were you guys thinking? Yeah. I'll take it, but still, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like weird. So Home Movie Rentals back in the day had a promotion, seven movies, seven nights for seven, seven bucks. bucks. Yeah. And we'd do it often, you know, like on the yeah. weekend, every weekend we'd go and do that. Back and forth each mm -hmm. weekend. And there was always like the same, there was a few <laughs> movies that would switch up, but there was always a staple of same movies we'd always get. We'd usually get like the whole Evil Dead trilogy. We'd get one, two, and Army of Darkness. The Shining sometimes yeah. you'd get. Demonic toys. Yeah, dolls. Dolls we would get, <laughs> yeah. Prince of Darkness. We'd stay up like all night. We'd try to bang out as many movies as you could watch <laughs> in one night, right? Yeah, drinking two liters of Coke. Of Coke, right? And, and we'd have a, a kind of running gag where it's like we'd try to make each other laugh. <laughs> yeah. As the other person was taking a sip of Coke or something, and like it always yeah. <laughs> all over the floor yeah, and everything. The next day, the floor would be all <laughs> brown and soaked and sticky. From all <laughs> not realizing that our parents have to clean it up. Yeah. <laughs> Those are great days to be a movie lover because you can walk into like home movie rentals, or I'm sure a lot of people had you know these big rental stores that weren't. Yeah. Weren't Blockbuster had a great horror selection. You can walk yeah. in and see all this cool stuff, these neat covers. There's lots I remember seeing that we couldn't even rent. We didn't have yeah. time. We didn't have the time to rent them all. Right? Yeah, Jumbo Video was yeah. one of them. Yeah, we had a Jumbo Video here, which is cool because it had a horror room. Yeah, that was cool, and it was always kind of a little eerie to go yeah. into. I never went into it like all that much. I went into it maybe once or twice. Like a Michael Myers mannequin, and there was yeah. a, you know, Jason Voorhees mannequin, and... Yeah, but it was cool, like, walking around in the place because they gave you free popcorn. They did, yeah, it was one of the few <laughs> that places awesome. gave you free popcorn. <laughs> you know, the sad thing is, you know, we had these big places that weren't part of a big chain. They had yeah. a great selection, and then Blockbuster came in. Ugh. And it's funny that we just watched both the last Blockbuster. Yeah and how they talk about how they came in and took over these mom and pa shops. And we, we saw that happen in real time and it was like, oh man. Yeah, man, I hated Blockbuster, Me I hated too. it. I hated it with a passion and I, you could feel it when it, when they moved in, when they took over home movie rentals. Yeah. You could feel that it's like, okay, these guys are taking over everything. Yeah. It's not the same. It's not the same and it's like, this is, this is, something's happening. This is ruining yeah. things. And it was all sterile. It wasn't inviting. It felt very yeah. sterile. And like, and you go look at the horror section and suddenly 
all those cool movies that like, you know, like Slaughterhouse. <laughs> with that fat guy with the uh, yeah, meat cleaver. Yeah, yeah. all those, those iconic horror movies that you'd always see on the shelves at home movie rentals, those great covers, they're all gone. It's just suddenly just the staples. Yeah. And it went from like a selection like this to like that. Yeah, and they, Overnight, you they, know? they focused more on like the new releases, which made more yep. money, right? Yep. Um, which sucked because yep. where's the variety? Exactly. You had nothing after yep. that. The gaming section yeah. for home movie rentals was enormous. It was like fucking, it was like a third of the yeah, entire I footprint. That. Yeah. And then after once Blockbuster took over, all of the good games disappeared. Yeah. It was just all these shitty games. And then it's like N64 games, there was like three games. Yeah. It was like, well, I have this expensive system here, yeah. and I can't play it. Digressing a bit, <laughs> I had a Sega Master System growing up, right? Yeah. <laughs> Where we lived in Winnipeg, you could not go and rent Sega Master System games. No. There's no place that rented them. <laughs> you actually had to go and buy them, or there's a trading, there's a place that would trade them. You'd trade a yes. game for a game. Was that downtown? Yeah, that was yeah, Comic Factory. Yeah, 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 I remember that place, yeah. yeah. Also yeah. stuff like Special Interest. I remember like Home Movie Rentals had a great wrestling section. Oh, like yeah. the wrestling That's section right. was like huge. It had like all the WrestleManias and all this weird underground shit. Yeah. All that was gone. Yeah. And even stuff like cartoons, like the children's section with like the cartoons. You can rent like all the stuff you watch on Saturday mornings, like all the yeah. Ghostbuster cartoons and He-Man and cartoons. All yeah. that stuff. There was that whole section for that and suddenly it was all gone. Everything was gone, gone and streamlined, yeah. right? All to whatever could make the most money. Yeah. Before the days of the internet, before streaming, before downloading, yeah. this was all you had. Yeah. And then to have it all taken away, and then just to be given generic shit. Yeah. And you you maybe rent it once, and then that, that's all you could get. Yeah. It was garbage. It was pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I remember when Blockbuster moved in and took yeah. over Home Movie Rentals. It was kind of like I almost foresaw the decline of yeah. of movie rentals. It's like ah, oh, this yeah. It's like this is it, man. This is something's happening. Something's changing yeah. here. Like it's it's one thing to go to walk in to a place and rent a movie. It's a different thing to walk into a place and rent a weird, obscure movie or a weird underground, straight to video movie you wouldn't see yeah. anywhere else, right? And Blockbuster kind of took that away from and, us, right? Yeah, and, and then on top of it too, it's like the cost of everything went up. Yeah. And so our parents, like I know my parents, they're like, they didn't want to rent. They didn't yeah. want to pay the money half the yeah. time. So one of the movies we did rent for the seven movies for seven nights for seven bucks was yeah. Edge of the Axe. <laughs> yeah. Which we had kind of forgot about. Well, is that movie even any good? Yeah, we I can't remember. Like, remember, like, oh, Christ, like, it was so long ago. And obviously, like, it wasn't a movie we rented all the time, so it couldn't have been our favorite. But yeah. Was it good? Was it bad? We don't remember. I remember a lot of the Axe hits. Yeah. Is it any good? Is it any good now once we've matured and well, we'll find out <laughs> so our next task is to rewatch edge of the axe and we're going to include it in trash or treasure that's right so next week stay tuned and until next time keep, keep drinking, drinking coke coca-cola <laughs>